Strong orders continue to come from the Back River Waste tri Water Treatment Plant, and Baltimore County neighbors are coming together next month to test the water quality. WJZ has stayed on the story for months. Tonight, Paul Gessler is in Cox's Point Park, where community members will collect water samples. Paul. Yeah, Vic, these are the kits Blue Water Baltimore is distributing to dozens of volunteers today. Many who say the smell coming from that city run plant, now under state control, is as bad as ever. A beautiful river, it always has been. Baltimore County's Back River. And except for the many years of pollution, mistreatment. It flows alongside the wastewater treatment plant by the same name. And we smelled it all our lives, but it's worse. They spend all this money on this plant. And it's worse. The stormwater situation is horrible down in Edgemere, Sparrows Point area where I live. Keith Taylor and others Thursday showed up for training on how to help monitor the water near here. So here, oh, right next to a dead fish. Awesome. This is going to be a good one. I can already tell. Blue Water Baltimore is training the community to collect water samples. All right, I put the cap back on my bottle. I just collected a sample. We use the Chesapeake Bay as a septic system. Everything comes back into the bay, in the back river. In an August 5th report, the state said progress of removing solids from the system is being made. The solids concentration going into the filters has gone down since March, and all 52 denitrification filters are now online. But several systems still have problems operating, including most of the primary settling tanks, sand filters, centrifuges, and gravity thickeners. The picture that they're painting is really clear, which is that the operations and maintenance at both facilities are still in big trouble. We have the technology to keep things clean, to have the air clean, to have the, the water clean. And, and that's important because this, this, we're the, this is the only earth we have. State environment officials tell me today by email that its oversight order remains in effect and monitoring crews may stay on site there at the wastewater treatment plant even after the order is eventually lifted and it will be eventually lifted. The water quality collection event meanwhile is set for September 1st at various points up and down the Back River and its data will be published the next day. Reporting live in Baltimore County tonight at 4, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.